Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the second midweek video. I'm doing a small tutorial on shading remains, how they actually work in hexagon, what is going on, why stuff keeps breaking for you, uh, probably, possibly, and sometimes for me. And I have the angelic top open, this time a tutorial version because I didn't want to break my actually finished one. And I'm going to show you what happens if you actually use the shading domains which I deleted and so on and so forth. So you can see the object, it is cut into, I uh, already did the UV pieces, we have the wings currently marked and we have the body which I'm for simplicity's sake just gonna grab and move out of this space so we know what we're looking at. Okay. So you can see the wings go from a central uh, pink to an outwards white, right? This is what I wanted, what I then had in the final render because I figured out how this works. Okay, but I also want to have this piece and I want, the, I want this piece to be completely white. So what I need to do is either comp like grab this and make it so small that I can fit this in the white area completely uh, works in theory is probably not the best idea because now I can't really work with any interesting uh, other options that I might have or want so what we're going to do is we are going to add two shading domains to the whole thing we already have the UV map finished, which will come back to bite us later. First, I'm going to show you what breaks and I will explain why it breaks, because I think that if I explain this, this is the easiest way. Okay, so I'm going to remove the material. I'm going to grab the faces that I want, have, that I want to have grabbed. This is the both the wings and we're going to hit new and give it a new shading domain which also gives us new material we're going to name this wings i'm going to remove the color that is set up here for some reason and good enough we're going to grab the unassigned faces we're going to hit new and we're going to name this torso for now okay so two shading domains to tor uh, to to uh, materials, we're set, right? We're set. Uh, the UVV is, is done. We're, we're done with the UV map. Let's go. Wings. Okay, let's add the texture image. Let's add the same texture as before. And it is broken. And now we might ask, why, why is it broken? Well, what broke? And the answer is relatively simple. And relatively frustrating. And for that to do, I'm going to have to return everything so first I want to see right it isn't as before it isn't why uh, uh, pink in the middle and then going into fading into white it is somehow not what I what we want what happened well what happened is that we have this UV map we, we set this UV map we cut it up we we made sure that that the uh, that it is very clean that it that all the triangles look very very triangly uh, the what's the triangle the, the with the with four uh, four uh, corners uh, the squares look relatively squarely and that's not what happens what happens is that as soon as you hit shading domains all seams you set are gone now this is how i first had the uv map when i when i didn't have uh when, before i had to set seams and before i had to do anything now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we're going to grab the faces that we need 
and we're going to make shading domains. We're not going to need these. We're going to need these faces. And we're not going to need these faces. Okay. These are the same wings as we had before. New domain wings except color is going to be set to white okay except we're going to grab all the unassigned faces we're going to say new and we're going to set this to torso again this one can keep its predefined color because we're not going to work with it what we're going to do is we're going to grab the first domain the wings and we're going to throw on the same texture image. And now you might see something. This is... One of the... Uh, one of the ends of the wings. And it instantly broke for some reason. I wonder why. <clears throat> so the unfolded thing right is this this is what happens we can even go so far as to set the seams unfold this again this is the unfolded version where we have the seams set so that I have the wings and the full body actually I, I had the full body originally with an additional seam but I forgot this right here this is why it's not cut we can just add this as a seam and now we have the used the, the known form that you already know Right, this is the form that I had before for the uh, torso, and this is the mostly un unset form for the wings. And now you can see that the wings are going from some some kind of pink to white, so the the, the shading is there, but it's not as we want it. Why is that? Let's grab the domain again. You can see the texture in the background and now if I move this you can see how the thing uh, warps if I pull this all the way here to the white you can see that it actually becomes white if I grab the other side I would twist this a bit and pull this all the way over here can see that this also starts to become white we are getting where we want right so between between these steps of uh, I'm making the UV map with seams with cuts with editing and the shading domain and, and setting domains hexagon resets your UV map. The UV map you made is for naught, you have to do it again. So if you want to use shading domains, always set the shading domains first, then uh, work on your UV map. So we're going to start again. This is the second part of the video where I'm just gonna do a quick one through on the whole Thing. we're going to remove all the seams we're going to grab all all the seams we're gonna remove those seams unfold this okay this is the whole thing unfolded as one okay go into the perspective view if you want to set up shading domains go into the perspective view grab the specific faces that you want to work with 
Okay, this one looks good. We got we missed one here. Uh, we are missing one, two, three, four here. Okay, new shading domain, right? You can name this uh, the same as your material. In this case, wings. Material is gonna named wings. I would advise removing the color. Hexagon just like setting colors so you can easier see what you are doing. Okay, grab the unassigned faces. Hit new to give it a shading domain. Uh, rename to torso. Maybe name the material something you can read. Torso, accept. Okay. Uh, yeah, remove the color if you want to. Usually I leave the color on on those I uh, don't want to work on. Or I don't want to edit too much. Okay. Remember where your uh, borders are, where, where you where the edges of the uh, of the shading domains are. Grab your uh, seams, unfold and hit unfold after you've hit all these seams. <clears throat> this gives you the UV view and now the next part is just adding the whole UV thingy by hand. Okay, let's say we want to have this part uh, blue. <clears throat> Grab this just for reference so we know what we are working on. Bam done except I'm going to grab the wings we're going to move these up here into this separate these a bit so we can work easier actually gonna make this a bit smaller so we have more space to work okay Now, the wings get their own texture image, which is the white pink sideways one. And you can see one of the wings, the one that is in, is already uh, set. For this one, I would start working on the uh, vertical uh, edges, would try to make them. Where once I've done all of those, I would probably then go working on the uh, horizontal. So in this case, uh, I don't know. Yeah, it would it would probably first unfold all this for a quicker way for the tutorial. We're going to just tilt this. Grab this, let's tilt it a bit more so we have a workable thing here. Yeah, of course, this would need a lot more work to actually be a usable UV map, but we are somewhere in the middle of that, okay. Let's make this one a bit bigger so it works out better. Okay, it's not, it's, it's by far not perfect, right? But it is suitable for what we wanna do. Let's grab it, let's resize it, and now you can see that the wing, at least the one we worked on, goes from white over to pink and over back to white. Which face is this one? Okay, we might want to make this face a lot smaller, move it over here. Move these edges over here. And this is probably more what we want. Except, eh, 
Oh, wrong tool. Grab this one. Turn it. And I do the same thing in reverse. And we're gonna get a suitable, semi-suitable, somewhat workable uh, UV map. At least, at least for what we're doing right now, this uh, is working just fine. Okay, probably works good enough. Let's work this out a little bit better so we have more space to work with. Also, we have enough space to work with rather. This is a bit fiddly, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, here are where we want to be. This one back into place. And we have two wings. They are slightly different, but not that much, actually. And if we now give the torso the white texture instead. Hello, thanks. We actually have the angel wings that we wanted to have. So yeah, this is how you would work out the shading domains and now they work correctly now you can see they work as intended if i hit the wings you can see the pink in the middle is actually reflected on the pink in the middle of the wings and the outer side is on the outside is white so yeah shading domains is first set the shading domains then work out the uv map as you want it and then you have the thing that you want Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll read them all. I'll answer to all of them. Hopefully in time. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.